for another video review. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Samsung 32 inch HD ready LCD TV. Um, as you can see it's on in the background. For those who wanted to know how much it cost and where I got it from, it was down from about £499 to £297. Um, got it on Boxing Day so it was the after Christmas sales. And I got it from Comet, I'll just get straight onto the review. Um, as I said, it's a 32 inch HD ready LCD TV. It inputs up to 1080i and um, outputs to 720p. Although that's not full HD, it's still good enough um, for anything that I'm going to be using it for. Onto the hardware review. It's got these nice sleek curved edges, as you can see. And then a nice clear lip at the bottom, just from the added, added sense of style. Um, the logo's here, and it's just got some of the logos here. DVB, because it's got integrated Freeview. Um, HD ready and SRS true surround sound. Speaking of sound, I'll just give you um, a little taste of what it sounds like. I've got it here on TMF Music, um, so I'll just unmute it here and then give you a taste of what it sounds like. Absolutely sure of success, the video even features collaboration king Akon. How can she fail? Thanks for watching and see you next time. That's it, that, that's um, not even on full volume, um, that's on 20, I can continue turning that up, it goes all the way up to, I don't want to go any louder than that because that's quite loud enough, but it goes all the way up to 100, so, and that was only 60 at its loudest. Alright, back onto the hardware review. Um, as I was saying before, you have the style. Um, it comes with a free TV stand, which is here. Um, you can either choose to use the stand or wall mount it. Um, I'll go on to why I didn't choose to wall mount it in a minute. But um, it's a swivel stand, meaning that when it's there, you don't have to pick it up and adjust the TV. You can always just swing it left or right, which is useful if I'm sitting somewhere else in the room and I still want to watch the TV. I can just adjust it. So that's the front of the panel. Um, on the side you've got various buttons as well as that you do have some inputs on the side as well as the back which is useful if you have um, any devices that you don't want to have long cables or anything. It's got HDMI cable and various other input cables on the side. Um, on the back it's followed by another two HDMI cables, SCART sockets, um, composite cables, S videos and the aerial. Um, that's pretty much it for the hardware. As I said, it's an extremely nice looking TV um, and it fits in with any of my setup. Um, on the material it's made out of, it's that same kind of um, glossy black that they use on the PS3. Um, as my PS3 is right next to the TV, um, it goes well together in my room. On to some of the other features. Um, I was quite surprised when I opened up the box because Samsung included quite a few accessories with the TV. Um, you do, as I said, you've got the free TV stand. You've also got this little adapter if you choose to wall mount it, so there's not a big hole where, you would, where the stand would have gone. Um, you also obviously get a remote, which is this one here, which I'll come onto in a little bit more. But it's a very nice and stylish remote. Um, you also get one thing that I wouldn't expect to see with the TV, but it came with a free screen cloth, um, just to keep it nice and good looking, which is brilliant. This you've got this remote here. It's a very stylish remote. Lots of features on the front. It's got a kind of pebble where it gets thin at the edges and fatter in the middle. Um, just a little thing in the battery compartment. It comes with this little plastic attachment, so you're not going to lose the back lid, which um, often happens with some remotes. On the back, it's got that normal matte kind of black, but on the front, it features that glossy um, that you see on the screen. Um, so it's just another feature that, there that makes it go in with style. I'll just use the remote and load up the guide. As I said, it features integrated Freeview, and as you can see, this is your menu. Um, it features a seven-day EPG. Um, on this, you've got your video running up in the corner, the channel, date and time, the title of the show that you're watching, and a short bit of in information. The cool bit that I liked, I don't know if you can see um, on the camera, but there's a little blue bar here that shows the progress of the show and how much of it is left and how close it is to completing, basically, which is really good. Um, onto this, just your channel here, which you can scroll up and down. Um, you get quite a lot of channels with this free view. I'm not in a too bad signal area. 
um, but the menu can be a bit laggy sometimes and there's often no information that it says and you have to wait a couple of seconds before it actually tells you what's on. If you want to watch what's on you just press the watch button here on the remote that just takes you to your channel. It only takes a couple of seconds to load up what's on. Um, just go back to the menu there. Press the red button you get now and next which is actually a really good idea. It just shows what's on now and what's coming up next so you don't have to see the whole guide. You can obviously go back to the full guide by pressing red again. As well as that you can set reminders which do pop up and they do let notify you just go along and then press the watch button and it will set a little green clock next to the program um, if you don't want it you just press it again and then a pop up will come on and if you don't press ok if you want to change now or later it automatically changes it at the start of the program if you turn off your TV the next time you turn it back on it will say um, da 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 program has already started it started da 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 minutes ago so you can know how much you've missed if you wanted to come back into it. I'll just exit the menu there. Um, you've also got this quick channel list which you can navigate. Um, shows all your channels there. Onto the menu, you've got various things you can change. Picture quality, sound quality, the input from the aerial, settings, um, connectivity from your source, and then just the digital menu. Um, it's got a very clean interface. It moves um, quite smoothly, but still has a little bit of lag, as I said, um, with the EPG. It's great for any room, really. If you have a smaller bedroom, I do have quite a small bedroom, but um, I want a big TV for gaming, movie watching, um, and it's not too big, which is a really, really good advantage. When it's originally advertised, it said it had a 10,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. Um, if you don't know what that is, basically the contrast ratio is the variant between black and the white. Um, so obviously the bigger the contrast the better range of colours that you have in between. Um, dynamic just means that it changes from time to time depending on what's on. So if it's obviously a darker scene then the contrast might be bigger. Then if it's a really really bright, bright scene then it might not need to be um, as big. But when I actually got it out, um, looking in the manual and on the stickers that were on the TV, it's actually been upgraded to a 30,000 to 1. Con dynamic contrast ratio which is even better even more value for money um, and the picture is really really good uh, if something's not connected and you press like the shortcut for HDMI and there's no HDMI connected as you can see it says there's no device connected so you don't have to waste time um, unfortunately it doesn't automatically change the channel for you which would have been a good extra one of the big things it does produce a lot of heat I mean it's not too bad on this winter in England and you, you might want to have a hotter room but obviously it's gonna don't want it to overheat that's the main reason why I chose not to wall mount it. It's more like to overheat if it's pushed right against the wall. So on here on the stand, it's got a nice bit of gap between the wall at the back for air to ventilate around it. Um, on the whole, it's a great TV. I've had it for just under a month now. And I'm extremely, extremely happy with my purchase. For under £300, uh, HD ready TV of 32 inches is a really, really good deal. I'd recommend it 100% whether it's for your living room, your bedroom, wherever you want to have a TV, it's actually really really good. The size isn't too big, not too small, it's just a great size. Um, if I had to give it a rating, for this television I would give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it's pretty much a perfect television. The resolution for HD could have been improved, um, but for design, the features, and the extras that you get, I can't fault it at all. Um, just a couple of things that could be fixed with a little update, because um, fun TVs do have software updates, just like a PS3 or an Xbox 360. Um, so a little update could fix the menu lag or anything like that. Um, as I said, it's a great TV. Um, if you're looking to buy a new TV, I definitely recommend you go out and um, try and find yourself one of these. That's pretty much all for this review. I hope you liked it. If you like my videos and want to see some more, I've got plenty of videos coming up in the near future. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Comment and rate below and obviously I'll read them all and if you have any questions I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. It's just been a video review of the Samsung 32 inch HD LCD TV and I'll see you next time. Bye.